Hello, I'm Tim, the Woodworking Maniac. I wanted to go over a few things that's happened over the last week or so. Uh, if you haven't seen it, last Friday I posted a video on making a deer antler bolt action pin. And turning deer antler is actually, uh, it's actually very, very nice. It, it turns very well. Uh, it does stink. And uh, some of y'all that made it in the uh, made some comments on the video are quite well aware of it. Obviously, if you've worked with deer antler before, uh, it smells like you're in a dentist's office. That's that's probably the best description that you can give to it. Um, and in my shop, really, the the only time that I have to deal with the smell is when I'm cutting it on the bandsaw because I don't have very good dust collection on my bandsaw. So when I'm cutting it there, the odor is very prominent. But when I'm on my uh, uh, lathe, I usually have my shop vac right there, um, and it it sucks away the dust pretty quick, and the odor isn't very strong. So it's it's not too bad right there. And if you can get dust collection close to your lathe it makes a world of difference uh when you're working with it but uh i when when i was turning with that uh new tool i, I ended up getting the easy wood tools let's see this was the the ci3 um tool it's got the round round uh, carbide cutter on there that made a world of difference the set that i had before was a uh, delta set it was a full set of tools that i bought I bought off a guy on Craigslist. They were unused. They were brand new. Uh, it was an old tool set that I, I couldn't even find any real details on, on the internet about them all that much. But uh, they're high-speed steel, but they do not hold an edge for nothing. I, I have to sharpen them all the time. And I don't have a very good sharpening system. I, I don't even have a grinder, so I can't really sharpen them very well. Uh, but... I have to go back and forth to sharpen them a couple times per project to actually make it through there. And this carbide tool, that, wow, that made a world of difference. That, I'm very happy with that. That That's going to make things a whole lot quicker and easier. But uh, I got a few things in the mail, and I wanted to show you all. Um, over the past few weeks, I've actually gotten uh, some stickers and stuff, and I just haven't posted anything on it because I hadn't figured out exactly where I'm going to put stickers. But I think I've got that figured out now, and... Uh, that might actually be my next uh, video. But a uh, couple couple stickers I got in the mail. Uh, Steve Carmichael, he sent me over the Carmichael Workshop sticker. So thank you, Steve. Nick Ferry, I've got Nick Ferry sticker here. Got Mike Fulton, an MF Woodshop sticker. And Jason Roush, Roush Woodworks sticker. And Charles Deering, a Wooden Visions sticker. And I'm going to post links to all of their channels. That These guys all have YouTube channels, so I'm going to post links in the description of my uh, video here. Also, uh, if you, you're aware that I had a little giveaway for my 1,000 subscribers for with Bessie, they actually sent me over a t-shirt, uh, and also <laughs> with their t-shirt, they sent me some stickers too. So they sent me some small stickers and a couple of the larger stickers, and I'm going to end up using one of the larger stickers with my sticker group. And I think I'm going to make a kind of a door that goes over the the bar section of my clamp wall here. That'll just be a door that opens up uh, whenever I'm needing to access my clamps. But uh, just be a door that covers that, and that's where my I'll end up putting the stickers on there, just on that door. But I just wanted to uh, to thank Sarah Ward of Slovana Farms. She ended up sending me over some stuff here. Um, Slovana Farms, uh, her, her and her husband both post some videos on there, and uh, she does some sewing, and she sent me over a nice little card uh, congratulating on my daughter, and she ended up sewing some beautiful little things. She got a, a little bonnet for my daughter here, and a, uh, a cute little thing here. So, Sarah, thank you very much. I appreciate that. I just got those in the mail actually today. I just went and got those just actually probably 10, 15 minutes ago. So that was really awesome. Sarah, I really appreciate that. And like I said, I'll post all, all those channels down there. They also have a, a YouTube channel. Um, but other than that, uh, just to give you all an update on my Sarah, Sarah, my, my daughter, uh, we uh, had a little bit of a setback uh, past week and a half. I my latest videos, I, I've, I've said that things have been going good, and uh, I was hoping that she'd be coming home in a couple weeks, and that's the way it was looking, but she's kind of had a little bit of a setback with her her lungs being underdeveloped, which we've, we've known for a while, and she's been on oxygen and stuff, but her oxygen requirements have kind of 
stepped up a little bit. And because of that, her heart has kind of been overworking. And uh, there's there are some other complications as well. But this coming week, they're actually wanting to do a, uh, a procedure on her heart. And uh, that's got a got us a little little worried and a little nervous uh so this this coming week uh it's it's getting a a little little nerve-wracking i guess for us but uh so a lot of you guys have been praying for us we we really appreciate that a little extra prayer would be nice but uh we've had a little bit of a setback and uh she's probably gonna be in the hospital for a little longer than uh, than we were planning uh but just like any uh preemies out there they, we have they have their ups, they have their downs, and uh, right now we have just a little bit of a downs. So, but she's strong. She's been uh, doing very well. She's up to eight pounds and thirteen ounces, so she is still getting larger. Uh, she's gaining weight, um, but uh, like I said, we just have some more steps to to cross over. But if you guys have followed along, I've I've been posting a little bit more details on my Facebook page. If you're actually wanting to get any more uh, detail. Uh, on, on how Sarah's been doing. Uh, on my Facebook page, I'm actually posting a little bit more detail on there uh, than I am on the videos here. Uh, so if you want to follow along, just uh, like my Facebook page and, and you can check it out there. Uh, but also, if you haven't uh, noticed, on Facebook and Instagram, I, I posted a picture. Uh, I've been mentioning that I'm going to be building a crib, and I've got the wood for the crib, so that's actually acclimating here in my shop now. Uh, so I've got the uh, got the wood to build the crib, and uh, now I just have to have the time to build the crib. <laughs> but uh, that that's going to be coming up in a build video sometime here in the near future. So expect that, um, and it'll probably be a multi-part video. It'll probably be like a two two-part video because uh, there's going to be a lot more to that to that one there, uh, and I want to get a little bit more detail in, into that video. But look forward to that, and I appreciate y'all following along. I uh, hope that the Previous videos have been pretty good, and hopefully uh, you enjoy the videos that are coming up. And like I said, I appreciate you guys uh, liking, subscribing, and following along. And if you're just now coming to my channel, definitely uh, check out what I've what I've already posted and follow along with what I've got coming up. I've got quite a few videos that I have planned. So uh, once again, I just want to thank you guys. So have a great day, and God bless.